For the first time in school history, the West Seneca West Indians can call themselves state champs. Jenna Caleri joins us from Syracuse with much more on the historic day for high school football right here in Western New York. Matt, we witnessed history here in Syracuse as West Seneca West not just played in their first ever Class A state championship game, but capped their season off with a perfect record and the program's first ever state championship. The Indians took the lead in the second quarter after Brian Ball ran this one in for the score, and you have to credit the Indians' defense who came up big in the first half of this one as they went after Huskers quarterback Tommy Weaver multiple times to help the Indians take a one-point lead at the half. Now, the second half was another slow half, but it was this touchdown by quarterback Matt Myers on the run as the Indians took the lead for good to seal their first ever state title, a 14-6 win over Yorktown to make school history. I mean, it was just, it was just an unreal moment. Um, I've dreamt about this my whole life. I've always wanted to be a state championship and go out with my senior year in my last game of high school. Just unreal. You know, not many teams go off on a win, and uh, it, it's a hell of a feeling for these guys. It's three years in a row now we ended with a win, and uh, this is the big one. Meanwhile, in the Class D game, Cambridge got the better of Maple Grove for the second straight year as the Red Dragons fell in the state title game 26-14. to It was a close first quarter for the two teams as the Red Dragons scored later in the first to tie things up. But this turnover late in the game by Tommy English sealed the win for the Indians as they took over and grabbed a few first downs. Now, despite coming up short yet again, Maple Grove head coach Kurt Fisher says he couldn't be prouder of his team making it here two years in a row. But if Maple Grove wants to play for a state title next year, one big thing needs to happen. Our problem is numbers. Numbers are really scarce next year. We're panicking right now. I mean, if we start the season like I think we're going to with 19, who knows what's going to happen. Now, Coach Fisher and the team will probably do everything they can to make sure that they do have a season next year. Congratulations to the Red Dragons for finishing as the Class C runners-up and to West Seneca West for their Class A state title. Now, Lancaster also looking to bring home a state title back to Western New York. They're in action on Sunday and will play in their first ever double-A state championship game. From the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, Jenna Caleri, 7 Eyewitness Sports.